this to James and all those at uh, Merlin Marine and I've got to say my batteries and all the kits arrived in the Caribbean at an economic price and now I'm told by those in the know that this is so simple a 12 year old child could do it anyway just to orientate you to start with this is my sailboat um, that's the back of the boat and there are two 40 watt uh, or maybe 80 watt uh, solar panels for two of them and there's a wind silent wind generator now um, I don't know where all the wiring goes but this is what I think is relevant wiring but this is in my my port side locker and there is the silent wind what's called hybrid charge controller now I assume that all of these wires here are coming from somewhere at the back there um, I can see some wires um, just at the back you can just see them there and I assume that these are the solar wires that, that end up here and they come in and go out right now that's my black water tank now what I've got there is that those wires seem to end up on this thing here And this is my current charger. Now this doesn't look like anything like what we were talking about in the in the uh, oh in the factory, does it, James? Really? Um, let's have a look. Well, it's it's plugged in to that because it's a con. Uh, hang on, where is it? It's it's plugged into that from there. There are only two three wires that are going in here. Now, these three wires seem to be, one of them, the middle one here, the middle one of this seems to be that one. And this end one, this bottom one, seems to go into a conduit which is there now there's the conduit you can see it going down there that wooden box and it pops out the end now at the end of that i can see two red wires um and there's a black wire here which i imagine is the earth and that black wire That black wire may or may not go down that hole. I'll try and I'll try and work that out in a minute. I'll just well, that black wire there seems to join two black wires there, which heads off behind this panel towards towards that. So I assume one of these are going to go at the battery. I'm just going down the bottom there to look at the the bottom end down there this is interesting uh, this this wire here second one goes down the hole and if you go down the bottom here the two red wires but these two red wires are much thicker than the one that enters the hole but if you look down there there is A thinner red wire, two thinner red wires, or maybe one. Uh, there are two red wires there, um, but I can't tell where they go. But they all head in the direction of the batteries because there is the engine behind this panel. Um, and on the other side of the engine is the uh, seat where the leisure batteries are. I'll show you that in a moment. So, here we go. We've got here 
a charger which I think needs to be replaced with one I've got, but only got one wire going in it, uh, which seems to be going down towards the batteries. Everything else seems to be going back up here towards this lot and towards that. Um, certainly there are thicker red wires that are coming up here, but they could actually be wrapped up in in these things over here because there's a there's a there's a, a wire there for the I'll show you that's that as a wire there. If it comes out the comes out the conduit there could well be a red wire inside that although I'm not sure can't tell. And here is the this is for the immersion heater. And then I've got shore power. So this doesn't look anything like what we got. Now Oh, let me come out here a bit now. I'm going to show you downstairs now, um, and you can get a, an orientation. It's on the port side, as you can see. Um, and the steering wheel on the back of the boat. to the other end and this is the leisure batteries which also don't look very much like what we've got anyway I'll, I'll orientate you right two leisure batteries as you can say 110 G AGMs um, I'll stand back so you can I'll take some still photographs I think you've got these but anyway there you go uh, there are two two switches here uh, one on the left is off and that's the engine starter battery which is behind the bed under the bed there that's the engine starter battery this is the leisure two leisure batteries which of course are the ones that are relevant as you can see they at the back there where it says number two that relates to the leisure batteries the, it comes back to here there's the pump and everything else that comes off it there and here's the, uh, it then sort of course links into the other battery here. And there's the positive, there's the negatives, which go from here to there. And then I assume back underneath here towards the engine block. So that's the, that's the current position. So buzz bars and all the rest of it looks a complicated it doesn't look like it did in the shop anyway um, if you tell me what else you want there's the control panel I know there are a couple, a couple of small buzz bars behind there um, and there's all the switches and the wires look like they go well there's loads of red wires down there um, and they go through upstairs to the buzz bars and to, for dispersal around the boat, I imagine. Anyway, I, st I still think a 12-year-old can do this. <laughs>